If I want to know the purpose of the product, I need to go to the maker. There's no way that the product can tell me what the product does. The product can't talk. Even if the product could speak, the product wouldn't know if it could speak. It still wouldn't be able to explain itself as well as the maker could. Now, when you look at the, 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 the manual, and this is a shorter manual than most, the first thing is most of us receive products and we will never read the manuals. I know I'm like that. It's just kind of like try to check it out. Exactly. In fact, I, it took me a while to get this because I was going around saying, does somebody have a manual for something because I want to make an illustration in this class? You're like, we, we don't need manuals. We'll figure it out. <laughs> you know, That's what we typically do. So what happens when we do this is what? Sometimes we have a, before I get to the manual, we have a product and we see a use of it, but we don't know the full range of what before it can do. I think about uh, uh, whether it's this electron, this right here, uh, or a computer itself, or a high-tech camera. You might know the basic use. Well, the camera films, but there's 20 different settings. There's night settings, there's up-close settings, there's way to take shots and slow motion. It's no way that you're going to know the full range of what it does without consulting the maker. So it is an analogy for our lives. Some of us, uh, uh, we, we have an idea of what we can do, one or two things that we can do, and we say, well, that's all I can do. But we don't have an idea or a full understanding of the full range of our gifts. I just hit my rhythm, I just boy. Hit my rhythm.